declares a new business in Munising, home to a wide array of artwork from artists in the Great Lakes area. This morning, Ansley Watson tells us more about what they have. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. I'm an upscale art in Munising. They just opened up about a couple of months ago. This is a cooperative opportunity for local and regional artists to showcase their work. They're so many talented artists in here. There's photography, there's jewelry, and there's even beaver to furniture. You guys, this is very cool stuff. We'll show you exactly what I'm talking about whenever we come back later in the hour. Reporting live in Munising, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, yeah, you're going to have to explain that beaver chew furniture a little bit later on. Thanks, Ansley. It has a very catchy name. It certainly does. It sounds like a pet got to your furniture, like cat scratch couches or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm thinking it'll look a lot better than that. You're probably right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, as yeah, we're getting yeah, our upscale art in Munising is home to artwork from around the region. This morning, Ansley Watson showcasing some of what they have. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. This is a great opportunity for artists to bring their work and showcase their artwork here. This morning, joining me is Donna Shields, and she is the treasurer for the Munising Bay Arts Association. Thank you so much for oh, being with welcome. us this Thank morning. Thank you for coming. No problem. Yeah. Well, Sue, so over here, you're also on the board, and you're holding up the Munising Bay Arts Association sign. What is the board? What do you guys do on the board? Well, we um, are instrumental, of course, in this gallery, getting mm -hmm. this open. But in addition to that, we've had an annual art festival at the Bayshore Park each June. Um, we do an event called Munising Creates. This year's event is based on the Park Service uh, 100th anniversary and 50th of Pitched Rock. So our theme is Imagine Your Parks. Um, regional artists uh, locally here within Elger County are welcome to apply to the event. They make something based on that theme and it'll be displayed in the halls of Parks and Rec um, throughout um, August and into September, but uh, People's Choice Awards will be given. Um, we help mentor artists. We've held workshops to have them learn the business of art, um, among other things. Upscale Art opened in June. Yes. How's that been going? You have, what, 23 artists showcased 23 here? 23 artists. It has been a wonderful reception, not only from the community, the tourists as well, um, and the artists are just very pleased. Our sales have been great, and it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity for them to be able to showcase their work and also sell. This is a cooperative opportunity. Yes. Kind of explain that process. Yes. Um, the cooperative means that the artists themselves, first of all, they have to be juried to get into the gallery, and then once jury process has been done and they've been accepted. Um, they have a co contract with us. Uh, we have a two choices. They can either work or non-working. Commissions are based upon that. Um, this gives the uh, artists the opportunity, say if they're a summer resident and go away for the winter, they can swip o swap over to the non-working contract. Um, but uh, they also work in here on the working contract. Uh, they're required to work a minimum of two days per month on, on the average. So uh, it helps us keep our overhead down. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fee that they pay to be in the gallery covers their um, our overhead, the rent, uh, utilities, insurance, so on. So it's a good opportunity all the way around. Helps us keep our doors open and helps keep art prevalent in the community. You're planning on opening this and leaving it open year round. Yes. Yes. Seven yeah, days a week. Seven days a week um, for now. Come fall, winter, we may have shortened um, week, but uh, it's definitely year round. Okay. Well, Donna, thank you so much. We'll walk around and see what else is in here. Okay. We just stay thank back. you. Stay with us. Reporting live in Munising, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Looks like a fascinating place. Thank you very much, Ansley, as we get ready for the day. I, you know, it's going to cool off a little bit, but we've got some Welcome pretty... back. Well, an artist cooperative in Munising called Upscale Art is home to a plethora of different types of artwork. Ansley Watson is this morning to show us what you can find. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Sam. Well, as I promised, we've got to check out this beaver chew furniture because what is that? It's awesome. That's what it is. But before I go there, I must introduce Donna Shields. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Well, you're morning. welcome. Thank you for coming, too. We really oh, appreciate it. Yeah. No problem. So a whole bunch of artwork in here. You said there's 23 art artists 23, featured here in Upscale yes. Art. Mm -hmm. It's a cooperative. What does that mean? Cooperative means that we all pay a part to keep this business open. Um, fees cover rent, utilities, um, and commissions help cover the other overheads. And the artists have an opportunity to work here, too, to become a part of this and keep their commissions down as well. So 
Are you still looking for artists? Can artists yes. still apply? Yes, we are. We are accepting applications. We may look like we're full, but we do have some room for especially 3D art right now. Um, but we also would like to have a backlog because as businesses go, some artists come, some go. So that way, if we can have some backup artists in case someone leaves, we'll have an opening. We'll let you know. Absolutely. Well, let's check out some of this artwork. Right behind us, this lady has a very unique story of who makes these hats. Oh, this is Connie Cretans. She is wonderful. She is legally blind, but she has an eye for color. She mm -hmm. just pulls things together. Um, she makes felted wool hats and other things. I love this one with the you little the eyes eyeballs. On there. <laughs> That's fun. And she calls this her hedgehog hat, but. Uh, Connie Cretans, uh, she's from Escanaba. She now lives in Munising, and she comes in every day and checks her really? work. Really? Yes, she's a pleasant woman to see, yes. Well, moving on towards our right here, there is some beaver chew furniture. Explain this, oh, it's very interesting. Beaver chew furniture. This is wood that the beavers have actually chewed the bark off. That's their food. You can see the ends are chewed, they're little teeth marks. And Len Fieber from Man Manistique area, he creates these pieces. He and his wife make the, the lampshades that go with these. Um, he's got quite an eye for detail, as you notice. Every piece, the, the pieces are chewed on both ends. Mm -hmm. He's got it all symmetrical. Um, and that's strictly what the beavers chew. You just yes. said he doesn't he doesn't cut it up or anything. No, that's what he, he doesn't cut it. You see the ends all have the teeth marks in that. You know, there might be some cases like the bottom of the legs that are cut, but basically it's it's all there. And he makes wall hangings. Up. He's got a beautiful table over here and mantelpiece, but wine rack, candle holder things he makes as well. Um, very very much attention to detail. Mm -hmm. Moving on behind us, there's this. Watercolor, I guess it's not watercolor, but this lady uses, you said rust and industrial oh, materials yes. to create her art. Yes. Talk to me about that. Christine Worley, she is from the Manistique area now. She's originally from Chicago, but her family has uh, vacationed up here since she was a little girl. And she finds pieces uh, either embedded in riverbanks or along industrial areas. Uh, particularly looking at polluted waters and such, and she uses these in, to incorporate into her art. She will lay out the pattern, um, paint the canvas, and then take these particles, uh, medical, medical, yeah, metal particles, mm -hmm. and wet them, put them on the canvas, and let the chemicals interact. So the ones on the wall here are strictly rust that has happened uh, into the palette, whereas other pieces, you know, may have had the paint interaction and other things in here. Okay, well Donna, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Very quickly, just tell us where you're located and your hours. Oh, we're at 109 West Superior Street. That's one block off from the main highway in Munising. If you just turn at the stoplight and come in board a block, you'll find us. Our hours are 11 to 7, seven days a week, now through Labor Day. We hope you come. Thank you so much for being thank with you. us this morning. Mm -hmm. Reporting live in Munising, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.